Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 2nd, 2016. Near Earth Object. November 2nd, 2016. Did an undetected near Earth object just fly by the Earth within a distance of less than 47,000 miles? Almost undetected. Well, you bet your asteroid it did. Here's our report. Well, we had another near Earth object pass by Earth last night around 1200 UTC. Headline, newly discovered asteroid gives Earth a new miss. This article was filed by Mr. Eric Mack. I will leave a link to this in the description box under this video. This asteroid basically just came out of nowhere. It was discovered early yesterday. Asteroid number 2016 VA, very, very close distance to Earth. As you can see here at the JPL, which I'll leave a link to this also in the description box. Discovered November 1st, 2016. NASA looked at it approximately 18 times. Condition code was number 7. Now, this asteroid wasn't very large approximately 39 feet, a little bit smaller than the asteroid that exploded over Russia in 2013 that did cause significant damage. Now, in the report, they do state that this asteroid would have burned up in the atmosphere, possibly. But reading into this article, it talks about some very interesting things. And we'll just go ahead and read a few lines. I will also leave a link to this in the description box. It states, as its name implies, space has plenty of room, but that doesn't mean it's empty. Quite the contrary, with fair amount of traffic, even in the vicinity of Earth. This year, the tally of known near-Earth asteroids and comets passed 15,000 and more are being discovered like asteroid 2016 VA, which buzzed our planet Wednesday, just a day after it was spotted. Now, folks, this is what I keep talking about. This year has been an extraordinary year as far as earthquakes and near-Earth objects. Many, many Planet X Nibiru researchers state in their findings that during the incoming approach of Nibiru Planet X, Earth will be pelted with meteors and the possibilities of impacts of asteroids because of the huge trail of debris that follows Nibiru. Now, as far as earthquake goes, earthquakes, we've had almost 41,000 earthquakes this year and they are continuing on a daily basis we've had over 15,000 near-earth objects this year we are in the beginning of November which means we have 60 more days to go in this year to top off these numbers moving down into the article it states asteroid 2016 VA was discovered by the Mount Lemmon Sky Survey in Arizona and determined to be on track to pass by Earth at a distance of 75,000 kilometers or 46,600 miles or about a quarter of the way to the moon. Now, that's pretty close. It's very, very close. If they make one calculation that is wrong, then we're looking at an impact. The International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center tracks thousands of objects with at least one close approach happening just about every day. But most of them pass by at distances anywhere from several to a few dozen times the distance to the moon, which means 2016 VA is making a very close approach compared to most flybys. This article is very interesting. And as I read through it, in a roundabout way, it is saying that we're having 
an extraordinary year as far as near-Earth objects. Now, they just spotted this um, small asteroid, and even if they did have a little bit of time, it would have given none of us any time. If this asteroid would have been very, very large and on a direct course with Earth, because they only discovered it on November 1st, we would have basically had almost no time to prepare. Why are these asteroids just coming out of nowhere? Well, once again, the research done by many Planet X researchers holds water with the theory that Nibiru's debris trail is kicking these objects directly into the path of Earth. If you put it all together, why all of a sudden in 2016 are we having the increases in Earth activity such as earthquakes and now the near-Earth objects? Now I'm going to go ahead and leave this link to this article in the description box for all of you to read. I'm going to flip back here to the JPL so you can see it once again. This was upgraded immediately to a code 7, which is pretty important. They're watching it very closely. It was only detected on November 1st in the flyby. Uh, I think it occurred in less than 24 hours later, possibly less than 12 hours later. So it just goes to show you that these objects are coming out of nowhere. There's not a lot, a lot of time. There's not a lot of time. And I think as we move closer and closer into the winter months and also the spring months to come in 2017, I believe that we are going to have more and more near-Earth objects and possibly an impact. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.